So the Career Tower now has $11.5 million in liens filed against it. And all of this comes just after the building sold for $18 million last month. New at 6, IT reporter Dan Monk spent the day looking into what that means for one of Cincinnati's most important historic places. When I was a baby lawyer, my desk was in the attic of the Carew Tower on the 47th floor. Attorney Tim Burke has a strong attachment to Carew Tower. I still miss the views from that building. That's why he's concerned about $11.5 million in liens filed this month against two owners of the Carew Tower complex. You just hope that all of the financing difficulties that that complex has seen in recent years doesn't signal problems for it long term. The liens were filed by the Carew Tower Condominium Association, whose president is Anoop Dave, a New York investor who just bought Carew's hotel and retail properties in a Hamilton County foreclosure case. Burke figures Dave can cover the $6.4 million he authorized against his own company, but he's not so sure about the hotel. In this case, because of the interconnection of the various owners, it's particularly difficult to tell how much of a problem that lien is. Greg Power is the owner of the hotel portion of the Carew Tower complex. He says the lien is not a big deal. It's merely intended to make sure there is money for a $12.5 million special assessment. That money will be used to pay for improvements to the building's exterior over the next three to four years. We tried to confirm that with Dave, but didn't get a return call from his attorney. Hopefully he is right, but it wasn't too long ago when the electricity to the complex almost got shut off. So we don't know how much of a problem there is there. Hopefully, the new owners are in a far better position to address some of these issues than Mr. Power was. In the meantime, the property's new deed indicates the new owner plans to separate the hotel's plumbing, electrical, and mechanical systems from the rest of the property, and securities filings show the hotel property owes $45 million on a 2019 mortgage that matures in 2024. Power said he's in the process of refinancing the mortgage and the hotel is doing great. That complex was built in a year. We won't know for longer than a year whether or not all of this can survive. It remains to be seen. I certainly hope it can survive. It's such a wonderful part of our landscape, our history, and there's not another hotel like the Netherland in Cincinnati. Reporting downtown, Dan Monk, WCPO 9, IT.